Hey what's up guys it's me Mosek Tech and this is the Motorola Moto E first generation Cyanogen Mode officially announced the Cyanogen Mode 13 for this Motorola Moto E so you can download that from the link in the description box and if you have any custom ROM like me you can enable the advanced reboot option to directly go to the uh, recovery mode but if you have stock ROM you have to first uh, actually inst you can uh, just uh, install any app from the play store quick boot type quick boot app and uh, ROM manager to directly go to the recovery mode and otherwise you have to power off the device and hold the volume up key and power key for 11 seconds and then you can go to from that and you have to download the Cyanogen Mode 13 and the GAPS file so here is the Cyanogen Mode 13 and the GAPS file both the links in the description box so download from that and after that you have to hold the power key and go to the reboot and select the recovery from here and click OK first you need to unlock the bootloader of your device if you have stock ROM and then you can uh, install the TWRP recovery and then you can install the custom ROM so I have made the both video in my channel so first of all check the system in the mount now go to the backup uh, here's the backup and select everything except cache and enable compression choose micro SD card ok and swipe to backup if anything goes wrong we can restore the backup again go to wipe advanced wipe check everything except a micro SD card because the ROM and GAP file in the micro SD card hit back and if you want to hard reset your device if anytime you can click on this format data option because many people are asking me how to hard reset in TWRP GAVI you can just click on format data and reboot the device and now go to install choose micro SD card choose Cyanogen Mode 13 swipe to install so it will take one or two minutes so after that hit back and choose open gaps arm 6.0 swipe to flash so you can see the name of this is open gaps arm version uh, not arm 64 it's arm 6.0 and i choose nano gaps because i don't want too many apps of google so now click on wipe cache and dialv cache again swipe to back swipe to wipe so after that hit back reboot the system so rebooting will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes so be patient for that also and so here is the first boot so it will uh, take too many time so it's optimizing app and now it shows the quick setup so we will continue after the quick setup wizard so i have skipped that part so now we are in the Sanjay mode 13 official version so you can daily update the rom because the updates daily come from the Sanjay mode and you don't need to download full 270 megabyte file from the Sanjay mode website and update that again you can just uh, use the method i make that video how to update easily you have to download only 20 40 m megabyte daily to update that i make that video so you can watch that and let's go to the setting and see the android version so it has the android 6.0.1 version which is very good android version 6.0.1 which is android marshmallow which is the latest android marshmallow and you will get daily updates and there are two uh, few bugs actually it's not fully stable but there's few bugs and you can tap the build number seven times and a few bugs will be solved with a daily update so be patient for that advanced reboot option you can enable the root access from here at apps and adb and do debugging and when connecting to pc it's not showing the storage drive but it shows that it is connected to pc so also there is a bug for that and i am searching for the option which changes the theme of the setting from white to black but there is not any option but we can change the theme so i found this multi window option so this is multi window mode so we can use two windows in the one screen so which is very good you don't need to install any other separate app now go to storage and usb you can see internal storage 477 mb used out of 2.21 gb so here's the sd card you can make it as internal storage i make that video also uh, you can make that uh, you can make this as an internal storage you can watch that video too so hit back and you see there are many other option um so here's the apps so there's only few apps sign mode apps not too many bloatware junk which is very good and nice thing and is a system profile is the status bar you can customize your own and you can install expose installer by my video in this rom you have need sdk 23 zip file for that in the marshmallow so let's open the camera because i want to see if it's working or not so the camera is working but let's see how it's taking the picture so actually uh, before the taking the picture let me show you here the option 
you can turn on hdr mode this is a basic camera and the silencer mode camera is really improved you can change the mono uh, none sepia color negative and there are too many options you can change according to you want so the silencer mode camera for the marshmallow really improved so i like that too much no need to, to download any other camera have a google camera you can change from here video mode so let us record the video so video is recording so it's very fine and we can switch uh, here to panorama mode or camera mode so let us take any picture so it's taking the picture really fine without any force close or unfortunately stop but it will also uh, it's actually for stopping sometimes but it will fix with the daily update too so you can see it's taking the picture so that's it guys thanks for watching this is the science mode 30 official version so hit the like button if you enjoy this video share this with your friends and relatives and tell your friends that science mode 30 has been launched for the motorola moto e if they have motorola moto e and uh, comment in the comment box for any type of questions or problem and subscribe the channel for more tech videos if you already haven't if and if you are subscribed already thank you and good luck have a nice day